Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the MIC chat. Today, Matt, Chicago trader, one of our moderators, has graced us with a new video in his how to series on fundamental analysis every Sunday. And today's video is all about the low float mania that we've been experiencing in the recent market. So if you want to see the full length video, because today is just a preview, become an exclusive member. Otherwise, enjoy this preview. Hey guys, what's going on? Chicago trader here, checking in for the weekly fundamental video. Uh, hopefully you guys stayed safe in the uh, crazy week that we've had. So last week I did the video on CEI. It was a little bit different, uh, a little bit of a deeper dive. And then if you guys recall, the week before I did some of, uh, I actually reviewed a few of my losers and some of the commonalities between them. And um, also touched on kind of how it's easy for fundamentals to kind of make you a convict and uh, of your thesis. And... Um, Saw a lot of the uh, kind of same setups this week happen, uh, you know, in the midday or even the pre-market. So I just wanted to go over a few names that I figured would kind of help. Um, either, you know, you avoid or maybe you can even make uh, some money on the long. So ALT, um, this was one of those beat up. You can see it gaps up here uh, near the, you know, 460 fades off at the open. And it's got that $4 kind of daily resistance that it's been uh, kind of uh, trying to break out of, but can't. So gaps up over, and I mean, immediately it kind of looks like it's going to fail. Uh, it's got about an 8 million float on it. So I was kind of cognizant of that, and it didn't really look like it had any dilution. Uh, but regardless if it did, um, one of the things I kind of uh, warned against uh, in that video from a couple weeks ago is, you know, when something has rotated its float uh, and kind of, sells off in midday and it kind of reclaims view up on the and you know and holds it decisively it's a red flag for me whether it has dilution or not and especially if it doesn't have dilution like alt um and it's as beaten down as alt was another one tnxp moved friday a little bit more recently i think they put out a patent uh patent pr and they did a <laughs> Kind of a comical buyback a uh, couple days before this so anyway friday it gaps up uh this is early so this is seven o'clock central time um and i was scalping this and breaking my rules not trading uh pre-market especially with uh the amount of volume that it traded so i think it was it's around a four and a half maybe five million float so you know i'm always cognizant of that no matter what um right around this point uh, so there's still, you know, 30, 40 minutes to the open. It had traded like two, maybe a little bit over two and a half million. Um, so for myself, anytime something is trading 30% of its float or more, right? Uh, so this was definitely going to be right around float rotation, um, you know, right when it opened. So 30, 40% of its float in the pre-market, complete red flag for me. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.